lovely TTs, welcome back to the channel. I wanted to start this video off with our girl Jania Michelle, and we haven't really been talking about her a lot on the channel as of recently, which is a good thing because that means that nobody has put her name in any type of mess or any type of drama until now now a young man decided to expose a picture of him and Jania michelle laid up in the bed together now of course this was very embarrassing for Jania because of course she is in this newfound relationship with devin haney and it seemed like these two were doing really good in their relationship and all ducked off we know that they have had a couple of rough patches where they were like arguing on social media but other than that after they got back together, they were doing pretty good. But now it looks like she's in some more mess. So she was so embarrassed. She decided to deactivate her Instagram account. But she was still posting on Snapchat. And this is what she posted. She said, I apologize to anyone that feel like I ever embarrassed them. I have a past like everyone, LOL. But I no longer want to embarrass anyone with my actions. So yeah, I accept it. Then she says, sometimes I fall back from people just to see if they really care. And boy, 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 I see every time and guess what i'm stronger than i thought i was this stuff is scary she also said i knew the real before i ever put myself in this position just didn't want to believe it now that is some real stuff i definitely understand where she's coming from saying that and if you guys don't understand she's basically saying she knew what came with all of the fame and everything with her dating and getting pregnant by NBA young boy but she just didn't want to believe that people can be so fake and you know basically do things just to get clout off you and expose you and be fake towards you that's definitely understandable now whoever this guy is I think it was pretty petty that he decided to expose this picture of him and Jania Michelle laying in bed and let me be clear it's not even clear what these guys were doing in bed together to me it actually looks like she has some type of clothes on so it could not even be what everybody thinks it is but regardless it's petty for him to expose this picture while she is in a full-blown relationship now her basically apologizing on snapchat i do feel like she was apologizing to devin haney which i mean it's not even clear if these guys are still together or not but I think she feels like she embarrassed him with this picture getting exposed most likely it did get out to him as well and I'm gonna say something a little biased and you guys let me know if you agree with me or not I'm open to all opinions but when you are in a new relationship or when you're in a relationship you do not want to see your significant other or the person that you're in a relationship with in another relationship or in their previous relationship or with somebody who they used to mess around with especially a picture of them laid up in the bed with somebody else now just like I said, that's just my opinion. That's just something that I don't want to see. I know when I have seen it in previous relationships, it completely like kind of turned me off. But y'all definitely let me know what y'all think in the comments below. Maybe some of you guys feel like it is okay if you're mature enough or you can handle it. But for me, child, I definitely could never handle it. But I do agree with the people who say that Jania Michelle is young. Of course, she's going to make mistakes. I do believe that this picture is old. I don't think that she cheated on Devin Haney. I mean, in the picture, she did have a blonde wig on. And she hasn't really worn a blonde wig in the longest. So I do believe this is old. But I definitely want to know you guys' opinion about this situation in the comments below. If you want to see this picture in its entirety, make sure you follow me on Instagram at room for t with t two a's at the end anyways guys let's move on into miss koi Larray. now today one of the double xl freshman ciphers dropped and this had koi Larray, ddg Murray, and lakia on it and it's safe to say a lot of people loved ddg's freestyle i mean if you guys go in the comments on this video and i will have it linked below you can see people ranting and raving about ddg's freestyle but people didn't feel the same about koi Larray's freestyle people were commenting things such as Marae singing in the background of Koyla Ray freestyle was better than her actual freestyle somebody else said Marae's dancing was better than Koyla Ray's whole 
first. That's when uh, somebody else said, Moray's humming was the best part of Koyla Ray's entire verse. One other person said, when someone asked how Koyla Ray managed to have the worst freestyle than Lil Mosley. And I think Lil Mosley's freestyle on Double XL was like a year or two ago and he actually messed up on his freestyle. Now, of course, word got back to Koyla Ray because fans were just blowing her up like, what's going on with your Double XL freestyle? You know, why didn't and you do so good your bars were you know how harsh people could be they said your bars was whack all types of stuff now that's when Koyla Ray decided to respond to everybody via Twitter and she said how the heck you gonna tell me how to rap ain't no freaking rule book I do and say what the freak I want you either like it or not that's when she started to troll and she told everybody that she was going to rap a new freestyle on her Instagram live she went on instagram live and she didn't actually rap she just let everybody know that she felt like she had the hardest freestyle on double xl and by all means you are supposed to be confident within yourself and within your rapping even though everybody else didn't feel like she had a good freestyle as long as she liked it that's all that matters but needless to say i don't think everybody is going to agree with her when she says that she feels like she had the best freestyle on that cypher because everybody feels like ddg was the best and ddg did do his thing everybody on the freestyle actually did their thing if you guys have seen it y'all let me know in the comments who do y'all think was the best on the double xl now last but not least guys i just wanted to update you guys on this whole tyena and g herbo situation i know you guys are tired of hearing about it look i am too but some new information has been released so it looks like the other day g herbo did an interview and the interviewer actually asked him about tiana blocking him and asked him did tiana actually unblock him he said yeah and he basically explained that the situation had nothing to do with ari's party tyena wasn't mad that g herbo went to ari's birthday party she was actually mad about something else they got into something earlier but it wasn't about that whole situation so he basically cleared up all of the rumors that no tyena was not mad that that G Herbo went to his first baby mother Ari's birthday party and now that's all cleared and out the way it's kind of weird because after this situation G Herbo has been doing a lot more interviews like an interview recently just posted today of them you know basically asking him the same questions what happened between him and Tyena so this could have been something to promote G Herbo's music you know what I'm saying y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments below once again my lovely TTs thank you for watching Room for Tea make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram at Room for Tea with two A's at the end and I will see you in my next video